Hello, good day, everyone. I am good news from the King's Farm and Industry. Walk here and there, and I look like an old man. Can you see me? You see, <laughs> young boy, don't become like old papa. Please, if you are coming across my video for the very first time, please, 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 subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you are seeing this video on any other platform, please go to YouTube, tap the King's Farm and Industry subscribe and don't forget to press the notification bell thank you very much my people this morning i don't lost skill so i i've broke the uh, i beg somebody should get me a new, a new kit a new padlock like this thank you so this is our farm welcome to the month of november today is second of november okay so i promise you guys that this month we're gonna be talking on uh uh identification of snake species how we'll be able to identify different snake species because this is one of the areas that a lot of persons has been deceived okay so we are done with the housing system but that doesn't mean we won't we won't be talking about the housing system but this month we're going to concentrate more on uh different snake species so you know which one is good for you which one is not good for you so you also know that you don't stock your farm because uh mr a said that this particular species of snake is good you stock your farm based on your your vision for your business and all of that there's a video i want you to see now this snail is it a a or what snail is it please i will need your answer to this question in the comment section thank you the family of snail we rear here in Africa is Ashatinidae. Okay, this family is made up of two types of snail. We have forest snails, we have garden snails. Now, the garden snail and the forest snails require two different environments for their survival. The amount of heat the garden snails can overcome the forest snakes cannot overcome it you get me so the garden snails live on plant surface then the forest snails live on that plant they don't live on plant surface you don't see them on the surface of anything except they don't have option or during the night when they comes to feed so, too much heat will kill your forest snail. Too much, sun, uh, too much sunlight will kill your forest snails. Too much wind will kill your forest snails. Dry wind will kill your forest snails. Too much cold will kill your forest snails. So, this is the reason they majorly hibernate during the Hamatan, uh, during the Hamatan season. You get. But the garden snails, on the other hand, is easily seen in rural areas hanging on the fence. You see them hanging on the fence. From morning to night, they are there. You get me? No matter how high the temperature is during the day, no matter how high or how bright the sunlight is, they are all they are there. Nothing happens to them. So, before you invest, study these two type of snake first and then know which one you are going for. The garden snake produces more slime. For those of you who want to invest in snake farming for slime production, the garden snake produces more slime, more slime, and less water than the forest snails. The forest snails grow bigger in size, accumulate more body weight than the garden snails. So these are some of the things you need to know about these snails. Okay, like the Europeans, for instance, the Helis aspasa and Helis pumatia, and all other subspecies from the family of uh, Helixidae, they are rare. They are all garden snails. So that's why you see them if you, if you are used to some of their work. You see even their greenhouse, they will place a, a, a wood on a rope, flat wood on a rope. So you will see the snails on top of it. Yeah, those are garden snails for you. You get me. I repeat, if you are going into meat production, go for forest snails. If you are going from slime production, go for garden snails. So, 
with that being said now the garden snails the major snail we would advise you to rear in the garden snail if you are going for slime extraction is af ashatina folinka now this af is the biggest among all that snails when we talk about the garden snails and one funny thing is that the garden snails lay more eggs than the forest snails okay in our farm the, in our farm one jumbo af last year now training uh, sorry now experiment center jumbo af last year one lays 610 eggs you get so af can actually lay between 100 to 600 you get but fortunately all will not be fighter so if you are using a greenhouse for them this shade net will not be good for you because it'll be coming up from the space so you will need to use uh, a net like this like this one that what we call the greenhouse net okay you need to make use of greenhouse net not the light one make use of the thin one that has two layer you get me so that i can be able to re uh, restrict them from escaping okay then the forest snails we talks about we have ashatina ashatina this ghana snail ghana snails is very common in Ghana, Togo, and some other African countries. They majorly call it Ghana tiger snail due to the tiger print. Then the, we have uh, Akakatina marginata. This is where some of uh, some persons have been deceived. There is no snail called Akakatina marginata. I want you to know. There is no snail called Akakatina marginata. So Akakatina marginata is a subfamily under Achatinidae. Okay, this family is made up of seven different types of snails. But we, farmers, focus on two. We only talk about two, but that doesn't mean the other five are not in existence. They are around. In fact, people set them as ammo snails because they look like ammo more than the way, more than AMS. Okay, now, we, we have Akakatina marginata ovum, Akakatina marginata suturali. So if you are in Nigeria, the if you are in Nigeria, the Delta region where we have the Niger Delta, they don't have this ovum there. What the snails they have there is uh, suturale. The reason is that the suturale lives around swamp. They live in the swamp region. So if you are buying it in the open market, if you tell them suturale, they will not know what you are talking about. Tell them river snail or swamp snail. But of what the, the funny thing is that this suturali are of two types. We have land suturali, we have river uh, swamp suturali. This swamp suturali and the land suturali doesn't grow at the same, uh, the same rate. The land suturali grow more and grow bigger in size than the swamp suturali. So anytime you see suturali snails, being projected on any uh, platform or social network and it's very big know that that is land suturale the swamp suturale hardly grow okay we'll be showing you guys these snails from our next video then we now have a kakatina marginata ovo this one is very common when you come to place like uh, those states and the west and some part of the east you get so when we talk about the giant africa land snails the biggest among them when we talked about short term production is amo akakatina marginata ovum it grow bigger than other snails it grow bigger than other snails in a very short space of time and accumulates times two of their body weight we have land ammo we have swamp ammo this is where some persons are actually getting it wrong we have land ammo we have swamp ammo Go to the open market. Tell them you need river snail. If they give you the suturali, tell them it's not that one. You need the other type. They will give you the land. The land. They will give you the swamp. Uh, the the swamp ammo. So these are things when you come to know about them. You come to social media like this. You see a lot of deception going on. People buying snail from what's name uh, from market from uh, 
uh, snail hunters sell, uh, selling to other farmers, telling them that they are, they are actually farming these snails. So when you get to know more of this, you'll be disappointed on things you are seeing on social media. The truth is that snail farming is very, very easy. It's not difficult. It's very easy. In fact, it's one of the most easiest uh, livestock you can invest in. In fact, it's one of the most easiest aspects of livestock you can invest in. Okay? Just that, if you get it wrong, every other thing is going to be wrong. So, like what I've said, the housing system matters. That's the number one. The housing system matters. That is the number one. Then the species of snail. Have a vision of what you your end product is going to look like. Okay, have a vision of what your end product will look like. Then invest accordingly. If you are in Nigeria, please don't invest in AA snails. If I don't even buy that snail for a start. And if you want to start with, start with uh, between 20 to 50. You get, we, we actually bought them and they died. But that doesn't mean we are buying them soon because of training so we can project them to you guys like this and also for more experiments you can experiment in case they survive then you can invest big now the difference between um between the uh, am uh, snails and the achatina achatina which is the aa is that achatina achatina doesn't have what it takes for to survive nigeria climate now this snail lays above a uh, lace between 50 to 200 eggs per batch now the the a or the am snails all the am snails lay between one between five to ten eggs per batch know this majorly five seven they don't lay above ten so sometimes i don't know where these people are saying they lay 15 they lay 20. one even said they lay 50. i don't know why all this where they are getting all of this, okay? All AM snails lay between 5 to 10 per badge, majorly 5 and 7 and 8. In rare occasions, they lay below 5. In rare occasions, they lay 10. Very rare. Whether ammo or suturale. But the difference between ammo and suturale is that the ammo only regulates this circle 3 to 5 times a year. The suturale being in the swamp region, have adapted to the environment. You get, because of the water available in the environment, so there is always humidity. And snail rely on the amount of water in the air, which is uh, humidity, to lay eggs. You get me now? So the suturale can, lay bet- can regulate their, their bash between 5 to 10. So that is to say the suturale lay more than ammo. These are things involved. Okay, about the AA snails. Some persons have been claiming that AA snails in Nigeria forest. The truth is that anything that is not visible in the open market, it is not around the environment. AA snail is not visible in Nigeria market. That is to say, that snail is not in Nigeria. But there is another snail, a completely different snail. It's not Akakatina marginata. It's not Achatina achatina. It's not Achatina folinka. In fact, I have not seen any documentary that have covered this snail yet. This snail look exactly like AA. It's smaller than AA. Okay, this snail looks exactly as AA, but it's lay like uh, like AM. It lays like a- AM snails. Lays between five to ten. The eggs are big, like Amos eggs. You get me, but it has the same uh, from uh, chair formation and chair colors like AA snails. Some persons have been buying this snail in the name of AA, and then be shouting that he's doing well, he's doing well, but it's not. You get me? Okay. From my next video, we're going to be talking about this snails, how their adaptability rates. Their egg laying rates. We're going to be projecting these snails and showing you from the farm how they they've been coping and how they've been coping and all of that. So thank you very much. Uh, once again, I'm good news from the Kings Farm and Industry. For those of you who want to invest in snail farm, please. My only advice for you is that invest in a greenhouse system.
you get the stress and everything we reduce for you and if you want to set up your farm or you want to be among those to experience uh first badge of snail eggly in estia the perfect time for you to set up your farm is now 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 so that from now from now thing like uh March next year, you can stock your farm. Maybe at March end, you can stock. So from April, when it starts raining a little bit, your eggs, your snails will start laying eggs. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day ahead.